In today's video, we're taking our first look at Ali Abdal's AI-powered video editing tool called Firecut, available as both a Premiere Pro plugin and a web app. This video will focus on the plugin version. Without further ado, let's begin. To demonstrate Firecut's features, I've imported a clip from Iman Gaji, which is available under the Creative Commons Attribution License. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Once you've installed Firecut, you can access it by navigating to Window and Extensions, where you'll find the plugin. With Firecut, you can remove silences, filler words, and repetitions, add zooms, chapters, captions, B-roll, or even convert your video into short-form content. These features are available with the Pro Plan, and if you're interested in trying Firecut, you can start your 7-day free trial by using the affiliate link in the description. Also, for 10% off, use the promo code CRTV at checkout on the monthly plans. Let's start with the Remove Silences feature. Under the Basic section, you can customize settings like the tightness of the cuts, the audio track to apply edits to, and whether to process the full sequence or just a marked section. To mark sections, right-click on the timeline bar and choose Mark In or Out, which allows you to focus edits on specific parts of your video. Once the settings are configured, click Go and let Firecut do its work. Let's play to see the edits made by the plugin. Bills are like that. So, bills are. All right, it removed a pause there. Go. If I could only tell you, and a hardship that I went through, um, you know. All right, so these are some of the jump cuts. Next, let's explore remove filler words, which is currently in beta. This feature analyzes your audio and highlights filler words in red within the generated transcript. Clicking on a marked word takes you to its location in the video. Personally, uh, overall. Uh, yeah. I'll choose to cut the selected words and wait for the processing. The feedback window allows you to share your experience and help improve the feature. This all happened and uh, how I got here. It removed a filler there. Now let's check out the zoom feature. You can customize zoom frequency, scale, and the area you want the zoom to focus on using the preview rectangle. You can also choose the animation style, which is a fun addition. I'll set it to less frequent, pick a curve animation, apply it to the full sequence, and click go. Once processed, yellow highlights in the script indicate where the AI applied zooms. More info. So, look, this place, uh, the rent is. If I could only tell you guys the amount of pain and. You can tweak these by dragging the handles. Moving on, let's explore the Add Chapters feature. This is particularly useful for YouTube creators who edit long videos. Firecut generates a script with chapters and timestamps, which you can edit afterward. You can add markers and even use some pre-made templates to display the chapter title. I'll choose this glitch preset and click on Add Clips. When that is done, I'll also add some markers. Let's have a look at the timeline. Interested in a bit more of nitty gritty. Oh, so look. This place, uh, the rent is... Now let's try Remove Repetitions. This feature offers two modes. I'll choose Advanced and Process the Entire Sequence. After detection, additional settings and a transcript view appear, allowing you to decide which takes to keep. Maybe, as I said, like, maybe your parents weren't great to you or... On our example, the word maybe is repeated, and you can cut it either directly on the timeline or within the plugin interface. Maybe, as I said, like... Maybe you're For those working with multiple cameras, Firecut offers a feature to automate camera switching. I'll leave this for you guys to explore on your own, and we're going to continue in our example with one of my favorite features, adding captions. First, transcribe the video, otherwise you'll encounter this error. Once the transcript is ready, you'll see caption presets, some inspired by popular creators like Alex Hormozy, Ali Abdal, or Mr. Beast, and others inspired from viral videos that you see on social media. You have a lot of settings to customize them, ranging from general settings like position, size, color, to even more advanced settings like adding animations or emojis. Let's try out the emojis feature. I'll let Firecut auto-detect them, and here we can adjust the size, position, library, and animation. Scrolling further, there are additional options like blocking swear words or adding other animations. Once applied, the captions and emojis are integrated into the video in the timeline. Uh, bills are roughly an to get a gardener uh, he's 200 pounds a month basically obviously next let's add b-roll footage choose the frequency method and source library such as story blocks pixels or free pick after hitting find b-roll the plugin generates previews based on keywords giving you several options to choose from for each keyword select your preferred clips and upgrade to download the full quality clips let's play the video to see the results a little bit more info so look, this place uh, the rent is 3300 Two four five, uh, two four fifty, you know, two thousand four hundred fifty plus three hundred fifty is a contract. I basically I have to get a gardener. Uh, grand total to three thousand two hundred. A hardship that I went through to get here, uh, and how hard I had to fight for my own place. 
It's up to you to choose which clips to keep or remove. Last but not least, let's explore the feature for creating highlight reels from our video. Here we can choose how many highlights to create and set their duration. Now we have some previews marked with red indicators in the timeline, and we can decide which one to keep in the plugins interface. I'll choose only the first one, I'll go with this one to reframe it to the vertical format. This will create another sequence in Premiere. I'll also reconfigure the captions with another preset, and after changing that, the video looks something like this. This place, uh, the rent is 3,300, I'm talking in pounds, so I'll try and convert it to dollars after. And that was pretty much it for this overview. We think this can definitely help a lot of creators to automate their editing process. If you'd like to give Firecut a try, use the affiliate link in the description to start your 7-day trial and use the code CRTV for 10% off any monthly plan. If you want to continue learning, check out this video on the screen that YouTube is recommending for you. Thank you, and see you in the next one. This is Creative Society.